Have you ever wondered how an ancient British artifact ended up in Russia? Picture an artifact steeped in history, buried deep within the Russian soil. A relic of antiquity, its origins traced back to the British Isles. This piece, a stunning example of ancient metalwork, dates back to the Iron Age, a time when Britain was a patchwork of tribal kingdoms. It was found thousands of miles away from its original home, causing quite a stir in the archaeological community. Its discovery raises more questions than answers. How did this British artifact travel such a vast distance? What circumstances led to its final resting place in Russia? These mysteries puzzled archaeologists who had to rethink what they knew about ancient trade routes and cultural exchanges. As they delved deeper, they were drawn into a web of historical intrigue and enigma. As baffling as it may sound, this is merely the beginning of a fascinating historical enigma. To unravel this mystery, we need to journey back in time to an era when Britain and Russia were not yet defined by their modern borders. This was a time when the lines between cultures, nations and peoples were fluid and ever-changing. A time when the world was a tapestry of intertwining stories and shared histories. Let's begin our journey in Britain during the early Middle Ages. A time of knights and castles, of myths and legends. A time of upheaval and transformation when the foundations of modern Britain were being laid down. This was an era of expansion, exploration and conquest. Vikings from the north, Normans from the south, all left their mark on the landscape and culture of Britain, bringing with them exotic treasures from far off lands. Across the vast Eurasian landmass in what is now Russia, a similar story was unfolding. The early Slavic tribes were beginning to form a collective identity, their culture enriched by interactions with their neighbors. The Vikings too made their presence felt here, navigating the mighty rivers and establishing trade routes that connected the far corners of the known world. But piecing together the details of these complex interactions is a daunting task. The historical records are sparse and often contradictory. The archaeologists and historians who delve into this period must be part detective, part storyteller, weaving together fragments of evidence into a coherent narrative. They face the challenge of reconciling differing accounts, of distinguishing fact from myth, of making sense of the seemingly inscrutable. And so our journey takes us across centuries and continents, from the windswept shores of Britain to the vast steppes of Russia. Each step brings us closer to understanding how a single artifact could have made such a remarkable journey. Each discovery, each revelation adds another piece to the puzzle. As we delve deeper into the past, the story of our artifact becomes even more intriguing. It's a tale that encapsulates the ebb and flow of human history, a story that reminds us of our shared past and the intricate tapestry of connections that link us all together. Now let us step into the shoes of our archaeologists who have painstakingly pieced together the artifact's journey. Imagine years of meticulous work, poring over every detail of the enigmatic artifact, every scratch, every mark, every hint of wear and tear. The team of archaeologists employed an array of scientific techniques, each one adding a new layer of understanding to the artifact's tale. Carbon dating, a method that allows us to measure the age of an object containing organic material, revealed the artifact to be from the era of the first millennium AD. Historical records played a pivotal role too. Ancient manuscripts and chronicles, painstakingly translated and interpreted, hinted at trade routes and cultural exchanges that might have facilitated the artifact's journey. These documents, like the artifact itself, were pieces of a grand puzzle spanning continents and centuries. The archaeologists also compared the artifact with similar pieces found elsewhere. They discovered striking similarities with artifacts unearthed in Britain, suggesting a common origin or influence. This set the stage for the pivotal moment, the revelation that the artifact was indeed of British origin. This conclusion was not reached lightly. It was the product of countless hours of research, analysis and debate. It was a moment of triumph, a moment of revelation. The artifact, once an enigma, now had a story, a journey that had taken it from the shores of Britain to the heartland of Russia. The path that the artifact had traveled was not just a physical journey across lands and seas, but also a journey through time, surviving the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of trade, the shifts and turns of cultural exchange. Indeed, the journey of the artifact is a testament to the interconnectedness of our world, even in the ancient times. 
The artifact's tale underscores the fact that our world has always been connected, long before the advent of modern transportation or communication technologies. It's a reminder that the threads of history are intricately woven together, creating a rich tapestry that continues to reveal new surprises. You might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, it's simple. This discovery not only rewrites the narrative of the British artifact's journey, but it also illuminates the historical interactions between Britain and Russia. It's like finding a missing piece of a complex puzzle, a piece that alters the entire picture. The artifact's journey from the heart of Britain to the distant reaches of Russia suggests a level of connectivity and exchange between these two cultures that we previously underestimated. It's a testament to the unexpected ties that bind us all together on this tiny blue dot we call home. And let's not forget about the role of archaeology. It's not just about digging up old things, it's about understanding our past and shaping our understanding of the world. It's about peeling back the layers of time to reveal the stories that have been buried beneath. Each artifact, like our British find in Russia, holds a unique story, a story that helps us better understand the tapestry of human history.